Recently, Blackmagic pushed out a great product called the Smart Scope Duo, which are these two monitors you see in this rack configuration right here. And they are not just monitors. You can configure both of them or one of them to show a technical view on the video signal. And the way you do it is you use the software which uh, follows the product. So uh, Blackmagic made this application for your laptop, Mac or PC. And using this, you can now change the one um, monitor to show uh, a waveform or some other kind of uh, scope showing the, the technical details of the video signal. Okay, one of the drawbacks of this product is that it's uh, hooked up with a software panel only. There's no hardware control to do this in the field. So uh, we developed that, of course. And um, the way you communicate with the monitors are through Ethernet. And we made a few hardware solutions or examples, really, on how you can do it. So um, we have this one, which is one extreme. It's developed specifically for a customer, designed with the customer to be a field operated device using a battery inside. And then we have these which are far more integrated where actually they, their main uh, function is to operate an ATEM switcher, but you can also enable scope mode and I'll show you that in just a bit. So let's take a look at this one. Now this is really a nice little device. You just connect the ethernet here and the customer requested that he could control up to three different scopes. So we programmed uh, scope IP addresses onto these buttons. Now, scope number one corresponds to the IP address of this particular scope. So when I press that, you can now see it's confirmed that we have a connection to this one. And that means if we push these buttons up and down, we can now cycle the modes of the scope over here. Right, and we can also go the other way, like you see here. Okay, so these buttons over here does the same, but for this monitor. So, instead of having a dedicated control for your Smart Scope Duo, like this one we've just seen, you can also have it integrated with controls of other hardware devices, like a video switcher, for instance. And here we have an uh, television, uh, ATEM television studio. It's controlled by this device. So essentially, when I um, drag the slider or press the cut button, I'm sending commands to an ATEM switcher. But at the same time, this device has a button that brings it into scope mode. And if I press that button, it means that we are now beginning to control this side of the Smart Scope Duo. And when I press this button, you can see how I cycle through the various scope modes by using the numbers one through six. And as soon as I go back to, well, let me see, I like this one a lot. So I go back to program preview. It means that this uh, bus selection down here will now again select input sources on my ATEM switcher when I press the cut button like this. This is a very typical application of Skahoi products because we can integrate control of multiple hardware devices in the same physical device. That makes it easy to create user-friendly interfaces because you have all the buttons at the same place designed exactly like you want it. The one below is an example of basically the same but in a slightly different enclosure. It's still the E21 enclosure type. But as you can see, we have different layout of buttons, etc. So there's a lot of flexibility you can obtain using these modules and enclosures.